Hey guys, welcome back to SVB Creative. I am Ashwati. Today I'll be showing you all very simple and affordable makeup look for dusky skin tone. And uh, this is typical South Indian makeup which is perfect for every day. And also I'll be showing you all a hairstyle as well. So first thing first, I'll be starting off with primer. Before that I have already applied a moisturizer. And uh, primer I'll be using uh, Blue Heaven primer. I'll be applying it all over my face as usual. Uh, especially to areas wherein I sweat. Uh, especially to nose area and uh, cheeks wherein I have got pores. And then I'll be applying a lip balm. This is from Wadi Herbals. And I have bought this from Nykaa. And just for 20 rupees. And it's a nice uh, lip balm. It does moisturize really well. So that is that. And then I'll be using a sunscreen. As you all know, this summer, even if it is not summer, we need to apply a sunscreen or sunblock. And this one I'm using from Lotus Herbals and just retails for, for uh, I think, yeah, 245 And uh, this has got a slight uh, tint. So most of the days, I stop my base makeup with this. Uh, I do not apply anything else. Maybe I will apply a compact powder. With that, my base makeup is done. So this is very good. It acts as a good sunblock and it has got a slight tint and it doesn't leave a white cast. So that's the best thing uh, I feel about this because most of the sunscreen does leave a white cast which I absolutely hate. So just dab the product. Do not rub sunscreen. After that, I'll be applying Garnier BB Cream. So in the affordable range BB Cream, I think Garnier is the one. This is the one which um, adapts, to, adapts to my skin tone. Um, rest of them like Pons or Maybelline, these leave a white cast on my face which I really do not like at all and this one uh, once I apply it um, actually it has got a light white cast but then after 5 to 10 minutes it just settles into my skin and it just be my own uh, I mean like shade of my own skin tone so this is a good uh, BB cream for dusky skin tone so just uh, apply it with uh, fingers itself and it's done. Then after that I'll be applying Maybelline Compact Powder. And uh, all the details about the uh, product will be uh, down in the description box. So please do check it out. I'll be leaving all the price details as well. I'll be applying this uh, mm, with the same sponge. So I'm not using any brushes for this makeup look. So as I said it's very simple, very affordable, nothing complicated. After that, I'll be using this ADS lip and uh, eyeliner, which is in a uh, dark brown shade. So, I'll be using this as uh, eyebrow pencil and it just retails for 10 rupees and you can find, the, find it literally in every store, every local store, fancy store or like uh, these kind of cosmetic stores. And uh, this works really well as eyebrow pencil. It is not that creamy. It's slightly waxy. So maybe because of that, it just works perfectly as an eyebrow pencil. So I'm mm, just filling this, uh, filling the gaps in my eyebrows. Since I do have a thick eyebrow, I need not, uh, need not uh, have uh, to work a lot. So just applying uh, this um, product wherein I have got gaps. After that, I'll be just uh, spreading it out with my finger so that it gives a natural look. So if you have a fully you can go ahead and use that then for kajal i'll be using this um, colossal kajal and um, you all know because uh, this uh, i think everyone have uh, must have used it at least once so i'll be applying it to my waterline as well as to lash line and i'll be after that i'll be slightly smudging it and also i'll be tight lining my eyes which is very important because it just completes the kajal look and also it gives the illusion of fuller lashes so that that's really good after that i as i said before i'll be just going over my lash line once again because there there's like thick um, kajal going on and then i'll be applying the compact powder a good layer of compact powder to my eyelids so that it's not it doesn't get oily so especially for people who have oily eyelids it's better to put on a good layer of compact powder after that i'll be taking a little of compact powder to my little finger and then uh, applying it just uh, under to uh, kajal so that this kajal doesn't get smudged so with that it's done then i'll be applying uh, eyeliner and uh, today i'll be using this dazzler eyeliner and this is jet black it just retails for 60 rupees and uh, it does last on for a good uh, couple of hours I, I i should say that it 
did last on me for good uh, five to six hours so it's very good very affordable uh, the best thing i like about this product is that it's jet 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 black so i'll be drawing a uh, thick liner i'm not uh, going for wing liner it's very simple thick liner so it will be thin uh, at the inner corners and gradually it will be thick uh, when it reaches outer corners and then i'll be slightly uh, um, giving a very small wing very small wing and after that i'll be just uh, drawing a line underneath the kajal just a very small line that two three fourth of my eyes that's it just to have that uh, dark black intense look that's it and also this helps not to smudge the kajal as well uh, so that is very good so i'm gonna do the same for the other eye as well Now I'll be using Hypercurl mascara, and this is a Easy Wash mascara. And for daily use, I always prefer using Easy Wash mascara rather than using this waterproof mascara. That's because while removing waterproof mascara, there is chances that that we are gonna lose few lashes. So just to prevent that, I prefer using Easy Wash mascara. But I should say that it's a very nice mascara. It gives a nice uh, volume and length to lashes, and uh, the application applicator is pretty good. And it's very affordable. It's uh, somewhere around three hundred three fifty. Something, but then we can definitely get it for good discount from Amazon or any site uh, around 200 or 250. And for lipstick, I'll be using this uh, lac. Oh, sorry, Blue Heaven Lip Crayon in the shade uh, um, Coco Mania, and it is a orangey uh, shade. It's not a uh, like bright orange, it's a kind of nude orange, which is perfect for dusky skin tone, and it retails for just 150, and we can get it for like 100 or 120 from Amazon or any other site. So I absolutely love this shade. It does last quite a couple of hours, so it's a very good one. So dusky skin tone can definitely try it out. Now for hairstyle, uh, I have parted my hair uh, in middle, but then you can definitely go for side partition as well. That's up to you. Then I have taken a small section of hair from front section, and from that section, I'll be taking a small uh, section of hair, and uh, to that I'll be adding a very small section, and then twisting it, and to that again I'll be adding one more section, and then twisting it, and I'm repeating the same for uh, com complete hair, the hair which we have taken a uh, small section of hair. And then uh, twisting it, and then I'll be securing it with a um, bobby pin. So it's very simple. Uh, just uh, take small, small section of your hair and just twist it. So I'm gonna repeat the same as well. First, I'll be taking one section of hair, just twist it a bit. Then I'll be adding a. Uh, a small section of hair just again twist it and repeat the same till you reach uh, at the ear part and then now uh, secure it with a bobby pin and with that our hairstyle it's uh, almost done uh, and uh, what we need to do is like we need to just pull our hair a little bit from front section so that there is volume and it gives a nice uh, voluminous look so for that we have to pull uh, each section of hair little by little so you guys can see the difference of both of section like uh, the uh, pulled side looks way more better than uh, the other side just do the same and if you want you can leave your hair as it is and it still looks so pretty but then I'm gonna braid my hair um, for that I'll be uh, parting my hair exactly into half two halves and then i'll be putting my hair uh, to friend uh, if you want you can put it put your hair to back itself that's up to you then i'll be taking one small section of hair and then i'll be adding it to other section so basically we are gonna do a braid with just two section of hair and then again i'll be uh, taking one small section of hair and then I'll be adding to another section. So we need to repeat the same. Just take one small section of hair from one section and then add to another section and vice versa. Just repeat. I hope you guys can get a better picture uh, while looking at this. So repeat the same.
so once it reaches at the end just secure it with a hair tie after that pull uh, your hair little by little from each braid so that again it looks fuller and voluminous especially it's a good trick if you have very thin li hair like me so after that i'll be just applying a little bit of hair serum so that it gives a neat finished look with that our makeup and hair style is uh, done i really hope um, this video has been helpful for you all if so you guys know what to do please do give this video a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to this channel if you haven't already so see you very soon in very next video till then it's bye bye take care love you all